Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead, guys. Today, I just want to show you guys something real quick right here. This is actually right here in the front of my yard. And so what we pretty much do, excuse my shadow. So what we pretty much went ahead and did is just pretty much let the grass go ahead and grow. Okay, just let it go ahead and grow. And so what we went ahead and did was we brought the sheeps on in. All right. So pretty much, you know, rotational grazing. Um, just, just, just to let them do their job. You know, instead of letting this grass go ahead and grow and we go ahead and cut it, why not let the sheeps come on in and do the work for us? Now, what I am going to go ahead and do later on, I'm going to come on through with my lawnmower. And I'm still going to go ahead and knock off uh, the grass and stuff that they didn't eat. So the grass can be pretty level when it grows back up. And once it grows back up, what I'm going to go ahead and do is bring the sheep back in. Yes. Okay. Um, so pretty much they've been over here in this area right here for about two days. Two days. And let me give you guys a shot of what it's you know the area that they were in and like i said it take them right at about two days to knock all this down okay so it was right in about this area that they were and the grass was pretty tall now one of the thing is i know i did a video previously of the sheeps you know cutting the grass in the yard and everything but i didn't show you guys what it looks like before and i didn't do that here in this spot what it looks like before so early this morning i got up and you know did my morning chores and what i went ahead and did was move the electric fence into a new spot that i just simply let it go ahead and grow you know and i know it may like hey you know, man, the yard is looking a mess or the grass is so tall. But hey, there is a reason behind the madness, right? And pretty much just let the sheep graze it. Now, one of the things when I did brought them in, in this area here, I didn't bring, uh, didn't bring any housing or anything for them. Um, sheeps are pretty, uh, they can regulate themselves to different temperatures and stuff like that you know as long as you have a tree or something that can keep them uh keep them from out of the sun you're pretty much good okay now if you're in an open pasture there's no tree you want to put some kind of shelter but what the sheep went ahead and did there was a little hole right there don't know if you can see and hey they they went ahead and make themselves a shelter you know and so they went ahead and did that Okay, but what I want to go ahead and do real quick, I got through showing this here to you. We're going to go ahead and show you what it's looking like before the sheep go ahead and start eating everything down. All right, and just kind of give you all a rundown of what we went ahead and did, uh, what we went ahead and do before we actually put them in. All right. So right here, I'm going to stop. This is actually my edger or my, my weed eater, excuse me. And so what I came out and did early this morning, I came and I weed eated all the spot where the fence is going to be going. So pretty much that we won't be um, grounding on the grass blades or anything like that. And if you hear that popping, that's a spot that I have to fix. Because yes, it is kind of grounding on the grass there. All right, so and that's it. Came in and we run the fence. And another thing is, you know, when we brought them in, what we went ahead and do, came ahead and brought their salt block on over. Because as they eat the grass, guys, they want to, you know, lick that salt and, you know, and with them licking the salt, it have them to drink more water. So they stay hydrated okay and how did i bring the sheeps on over here what i went ahead and did and this is a thing that 
you know, if you have animals, it's something that you should do with your sheep. Have some kind of treats, some kind of, uh, you know, all stock or something. They'll run for anything. You shake that bucket, they'll come running for anything. Um, but pretty much, we just brought uh, that uh, trough over here and put a little bit of uh, feed in there, shake the bucket, and yes, they came running. And so that's how I got them inside of this uh, netting, electric fence netting here. And so this is what it's looking like. As y'all can see, the grass is all grown up. I'll take you guys on over here to these other little spots. The grass is all grown up, guys. And so what I want to do later on is come back in and show you what it's looking like after they are finished. All right. And of course, one of the things that you want to make sure that your sheep have as well when you're moving them in different paddocks or different uh, pasture or wherever you're moving them at, just make sure that they have fresh, clean water. And also over here is another tub that we have with some uh, mineral, free choice minerals for the sheep. Okay, now this is what it's looking like. All right. And as y'all can see, they are already working. Let me get a little bit closer for you guys. And so what I'm going to do actually, once they get through uh, grazing all this down, I'm actually gonna come on in with some, some grass, uh, grass seeds and plant. Um, depends on what variety of grass it is. I may not be able to plant it just yet. But this won't be their first time over here grazing or it won't be their last time. All right. So that's them over there. And like I said, they are grazing away. And right there in that spot, right there laying down, that's actually a two, well, not two, right at about... Not even a week yet. I'll say about five days old ram lamb. Okay, that, you know, mom just gave birth. And that is going to actually be the last bird for now until in the fall. Okay, and look at it, still nursing. <laughs> and the funny thing about it is we actually do have a couple more rams out there. And yes, they are actually still nursing on their mom it is time for us to wean them off but you know that time will come that time will come and but look at that guys they are at work and so that's what we're using the sheep for <laughs> like i said we have a built-in lawnmower here on the homestead um you know and most of the grass in here is clovers uh crab crab weeds and a couple of different other stuff I, I know i just came in and also planted some some rye grass and you know it, it is germinating but hey it is time for the grass to get cut and so that's why we bring the sheep in but guys nonetheless i want to say thanks to each and every one of you guys out there for stopping by the humble servant homestead and i want y'all to have a blessed day.